All right, so we've got a few other treaties to talk about. Uh, USA and UK have a treaty where the UK is guaranteeing the USA's treaty with Mexico. So if the USA were to declare war on Mexico, the UK would intervene. UK and Persia have a treaty. UK is yeah. guaranteeing Persia. Persia is Until way... Until drop infamy. Yeah. yeah, Persia is way over the infamy limit by 18 right now. Uh, I don't but, know exactly why he did that, because he got Kalat without gaining, getting an infamy with the justification. But yeah. I don't know what he did, at, uh, did to get, like, 42. I think part of it was Macran, which somehow he didn't annex. Yeah, maybe he did, maybe he was justifying. And then yeah. Maybe he's gonna annex it soon. It could have know. also been Trucial States, which uh, France ended up taking. Uh, I, I think that's renamed in this mod, I don't remember. If it's Abu Dhabi. Yeah, it's still Abu Dhabi. So uh, anyway, Persia did not get Abu Dhabi, and that might have been part of it, but uh, Persia's goals of expanding into Arabia, those were kind of thwarted by everyone else, so that might have been part of it. I'm not sure where they got all that infamy, but in any case, they're way over right now, and the UK is uh, guaranteeing them until they fall down uh, below the limit. Let's see, there's the South American Autonomy Agreement, which is uh, mostly... Worthless paper at this point, I think. I <laughs> yeah, he wasted so much time to make that. It's a it's a comprehensive treaty that guarantees the South American states against intervention by anyone outside, but not everyone in South America has signed it, and not everyone who would be interested in defending the South American states has agreed to take part. So well, UK did uh, sign it, I think. UK is the only nation. That could have any. No, I think impact. Netherlands. Netherlands, the Netherlands a, a bit. Did they I renew it? Did. I, I don't know. I think they did. Okay, I, maybe I think they it did. Was uh, yeah, but maybe. Netherlands, Netherlands only has five brigades. They they have no impact whatsoever in this uh, South American treaty. Yeah, and Scandinavia signed it, and he doesn't even ha have one there. Yeah. I don't know. I don't Scandinavia know. Scandinavia could sign it as an aid. But yeah, since he Maybe. has no land there, he can't technically be a ward he, or a warden. I think warden. he was going to get some, like, in... Uh, USA oh, was yeah, selling USA that one was trying to sell But then, sl yeah, Slazer didn't allow one prize. Okay. So basically, the only nation that could have any real impact in this treaty is UK. But and USA. I mean, USA is okay, but not as USA big as USA. is not going to sign it, though. Yeah, I know. As he wants to uh, sort yeah. of undo that treaty and bend it to his own purposes. All right, the of course only, he does. The only other treaty we have is uh, regarding Siam, and that's between me and UK. If the UK and I end up together with the states of Siamese, Malaya, and Bangkok, then uh, we'll be trading land between us. So I will have this corridor down the east side, down to Kwantan, and I'll be trading away these th three provinces to the UK, and then the UK will have a corridor all the way up the left side up into their uh, Indian lands. Anyway, I'll be getting the east side and UK will be getting the west side all the way down. So that'll be a nice way to split it. And if anyone decides to go after either of us for that land, it's going to be less valuable because it's only part of the state at that point. So I think that covers all of the treaties currently in effect. And we've already talked about the failures of the Italian compromise. So next uh, would be expectations for the next game. So being our most powerful neighbor, what do you think uh, Germany is going to do in the next game? And my particular concern is Scandinavia, because uh, Scandinavia does have Schleswig as a satellite. So what do you think uh, Germany is going to do about Schleswig? Because Scandinavia is not part of this treaty with you, me, and Germany. I don't think he will just... I mean, maybe he will. I don't think that land is worth going for trouble in a player war. It's gonna be annoying. Like, you, uh, Germany doesn't have any navy, so Scandinavia can just block uh, straight That's together. True. But yeah. they, uh, they're gonna have thicker then. Yeah, Germany has zero ships right now. They can yeah, pretty they quickly eight. build up some more, though. Alright, so you think that front's going to be quiet. My prediction is they're going to use their... Uh, Germany's going to use its isolation via the treaties to attack Scandinavia, and no one's going to be able to do anything about it. That's just my prediction, well, though. To be honest, if Scandinavia was playing smart here, I think they should just give, uh, give up the puppet and give it to uh, Germany. I yeah, think it's allowed do to that. switch. Yeah, I, I would do that, because then... There's a buffer state between them. Yeah. Well, not really a buffer state, but yeah, they're not bordering oh, each other. Right. 
I'm also surprised. I, I didn't realize Scandinavia didn't have core on Schleswig. So oh, yeah. There's, been... there's really no reason for them to have it. They could just give it to Germany as part of an agreement. Yeah. That, that would be best for Scandinavia, I think. But even if Scandinavia, they were... Uh, actually, I think Scandinavia allied UK, so... Uh, there's another example of UK spreading out too much. Well, it's it's not via treaty if they did, but uh, yeah, yeah, at the yeah. end of the game they were allied with you, me, uh, Belgium, Ottomans, and Persia, so they were part of your treaty block. They might have changed since then, that is, they might have worked out something uh, no, no. Uh, else. It's BC, man. I don't think he switched because it's BC. Okay. Like, he is gonna be on our side. So that's Germany. Uh, obviously Germany has alliances with all the major powers around them, so this might be their opportunity to go after Netherlands. It might be an opportunity to go after... Oh Britain. yeah, okay. Uh, okay, let me just... Okay, I'll just say it and I'll cut it up. Yeah, I think G Germany's gonna go for Java. There you yeah. go. That'd be so pretty easy. easy for them. All they have to do is overwhelm the capital and they'll do that in a heartbeat. Yeah. Uh, as I said, Netherlands has only five brigades. Uh, I'm oh, not sure no. why it's they like a... only have five brigades, but that... because they were, I think they were protected by UK, and don't no, they're not because they gave islands to USA. Yeah, UK might decide to defend them anyway. Wow. Just to, well, it might be to their benefit just to block Germany, but it's so, it's entirely at the UK's discretion, you know. Uh, I mean, it's, I it's not treaty think, bound at this point. Yeah. I think they're gonna help Netherlands just because they don't want Germany in uh, the Indonesia. Yeah, that's my prediction. Uh, but I do think that's gonna be the first thing Germany is going to do is attack Netherlands. Uh, maybe after they negotiate the transfer of Schleswig, they'll probably do one or the other uh, right away. Since I don't have to worry about France, me, or you. Yeah. I don't see any major moves by France. They'll be focused on colonization. Sardinia Piedmont's going to be in survival mode. Uh, that leaves us with, uh, let's go to UK next. What do you think UK is going to do? UK is, uh, you said at the beginning, they're just gonna peaceful. I think that's what they're going to do. They're just gonna keep their alliances because I, I, I there's gonna be a, some kind of a war. I don't think there's gonna be a big war this session just because everyone just allied each other. Yeah, and yeah. me personally, I'm kind of burned out on wars right now. I, yeah, I me need too. some time to recover, so uh, hopefully I don't get dragged into one, but. Yeah, I don't, I don't see any major moves by the UK. They're also pretty high infamy, as last I checked. Uh, yeah, they're at 22 right now, so yeah, they, there you go. they'll have to wait for that to burn off a bit before they can do anything. By the way, are you going for Kiva, Bakara, and Kokand at some point? Oh, yeah, I'm going to... I, I blocked off the UK from getting that, just yeah. because. And yeah, I got I that, that Afghanistan, just so I can have a border with him. Right. That's decent, I guess. So, um, well, we'll talk about your plans here in a minute, but, um, so UK, we're expecting a pretty peaceful game, but mostly defensive. Uh, USA, this is kind of the, the, the powder keg, I think. Yeah, grin. So, it's going to be a little bit too early for the Civil War, but they are going to be making some preparations, I think. So uh, now he's going to start getting a lot of brigades. I, I actually am playing the game right now and they're not getting all the immigrants, they're getting 121 immigrants. Mm -hmm. Great Brazil. Columbia is also formed, so that was unopposed. Uh, they'll be taking out Peru, so Peru, Bolivia oh. and Paraguay will be destroyed next session probably. Yeah. Haiti's Bolivia, guaranteed yeah. for some reason. <laughs> Let's see, we so get, what's going to happen with Mexico? Nothing. He's just gonna sit there and not do nothing. There you go. I don't see the purpose of playing as Mexico in this game, you know? Me neither, when there's like a USC that, and when there's no one to help you out. If I were Mexico for this game, I would have not signed any treaty with the USA that gave away. Like, half like my you land. can easily away that war with USA in yeah. like Texas, well, the Texas thing. Especially with UK's help if they decide to intervene. But yeah, but I mean, like, a Gurren, who knows, like. What to do when he plays USA? Like he just attacks Mexico without uh, attacking, intervening right. in the Texas war, and gets like three more states because of that. Yeah. And Texas gets their state of Mexico. So Mexico does own Oman right now. That's not going to last very long. That's that's just stupid. That's gross. Uh, oh, they're targeted. So. Mexico has 20 brigades, but only one ship. So even if they wanted to, they had no way right now of defending Oman. 
So that's yeah. it's just a they matter. They just got of, it because of the head infamy, I guess. Yeah, it's just a question of who's going to defend Mexico whenever someone declares war on them for Oman. Well, UK, I guess. Well, uh, they still have the treaty you say in Mexico. Yeah. I think UK so wants Oman, but I don't think they're going to attack Mexico for it. So this. Yeah. Okay. What they realized during this game that the uh, the new people we got they really went a lot all out on oil. I don't know why. Oil. They, maybe they think oil. Yeah, oil. Like why would France conquer Abu Dhabi? A uh, food that's fusilier. Yeah, but Mexico's yeah. The same. Like they're worthless lands, man. Well, they're assuming no. they'll survive long enough to make use of oil. I guess that's what they're yeah. thinking. Uh, speaking of oil, I do have a deal with the Ottoman Empire. We're going to partition Romania once it forms. So uh, he'll, oh, be yeah. get, he'll be getting Wallachia, I'll be getting Moldavia, and uh, Serbia. Oh, that's such a great border. Oh, uh, yeah. It, it looks really nice. Uh, Serbia also was uh, going to go to the Ottoman Empire. Oh, if, well, if that's and when, better. If and when they have infamy for it, but, you know, it's 22 infamy possible, so I don't think they're going to go for it for a while. Oh, I think it's acquired state now in this month, so it's 11. Mm. No, no, not last I checked. Uh, okay, it's one state, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, you can take a two-state nation with the same yeah, or even less infamy than taking a single uh, state nation. So it's kind of weird. Like Haiti would be 22, but a a two-state uh, nation would yeah. be a justified acquire state plus 11. So it's kind of weird. Yeah, but that border you're gonna have with Ottoman is just is really gonna be good. Oh yeah. yeah like if if we would get Montenegro, that would look even better. That's yeah, just worth it. Yeah, Montenegro's not worth it.